Hey, what's going on, everybody? Listen, I want to say this super quick, man. Just riding this morning, dropping off my son uh, to school. And I started to think about Thanksgiving, right? Started thinking about Thanksgiving. And you know, when you start thinking about Thanksgiving, you're like, yo, listen, that's the day where you put on like five to 10 pounds. I know for me, you know, I'm, I'm put, I put on pounds that day. Certain days, certain certain events, certain times in, in the season, like I don't eat a lot of candy, but it seems like around the Halloween time, I have all the candy, the best. And that, and that lingers on it for about two weeks, you know. But I don't eat candy during the regular part of the year. Christmas time, there's this basketball on. There's 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 food. There's eating. There's snacks. And that's probably another five. Like that's why it's important to make sure you're getting it in. And I'm gonna go somewhere with all this. You're getting it in because for me, during those times, I'm not. Tr I work out, but I'm still eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm st I'm still eating. And even in the morning, sometimes I'll say, yo, I'm going to get up and work out before I start. But it's Thanksgiving. It's Christmas. Cakes, pies, baked macaroni and cheese, yams. Shh. You know, fish, shrimp, vegetables, rice. I'm hungry. Oh, my goodness. All right, listen, potato salad with triple cheese. Every It's just a lot. So I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, man, you know, get myself to get things together, you know, go, you know, shoot, every skin it together, man. You know what I'm saying? And then I heard this thing on the radio. They, they was like, yo, one in eight people. I think they said one in eight people suffer from starvation like every day, like every day, like, you know, people are starving. So I'm like, dang, man. Yo, we can't forget about people that don't, don't even have like we posting all the pictures of what we making what you eating and there's some people that even on uh, from your friends and family like because a lot of times on facebook instagram twitter people will post things and really post just this like like look at me type mentality look at me and you know and and thrive off a of like and, and and really thrive off of that you know what i'm saying almost bragging you know what i'm saying something a lot we brag uh, bragging um Try not to brag this Thanksgiving because you never know what your friends on your friends circle, what they going through. Some people have lost people. People have died, passed away. People don't even have family members to be around. And that's not to make anybody feel bad. Like, enjoy your holiday. But I'm like, do we really need to post every picture? And, and, and perhaps is there a family or somebody you can do a favor during this time of Thanksgiving and say, yo, listen, put it, don't even ask, go get some food, yo, find somebody and go give them some food. You know what I'm saying? There's, you can call up probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One family, like try to bless one family before you go getting your ham and turkey and chick, whatever you eat for Thanksgiving, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Who can you bless? And make a video of that. And don't make a video because you want everybody to see you. Once again, it's not about that. But it's about helping people. And if you lost somebody during these times, hey, keep your head up. Be strong. Stay encouraged. You know what I'm saying? College students that can't get home. And it's all kind of stuff going on right now. You know what I'm saying? That people just can't enjoy the Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time. But keep in the back of your mind, how can you help somebody? You know what I'm saying? Just think about that, man. Get some milk, whatever you, almond milk, whatever you do, ice cream, and make it the best Thanksgiving for them. You know what I'm saying? If I'm there, you are next to you, and you know a family, let me know about a family. And we're going to get some ice cream. We're going to get some marshmallows for the for the, for the the sweet potatoes, some noodles. We're going to get a ham. We're going to get a turkey. Whatever you want to get, we, we, we can get. So once again, share this video, and if you have a family that really needs, I want to, in the food, go to them. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that. You know what I'm saying? So if you know, if you have a neighbor, and they struggling, if you know somebody who's struggling right now because of some financial situation, let me know. And they got kids and stuff like that. Let me know. I want to get the mashed potatoes over there. I want them to eat. 
Think about it. Don't still feed yourself and your own family. Sit at on your own table, everything good. But who can you help during this time? And try not to share a lot of videos of Thanksgiving and food and what you made and all that other stuff. Now, if you, I mean, do what you want to do. But if you're doing it, at a, at a, you, you know when you do stuff. You don't need to post all that stuff if you just post and just say, look at me, look at us now, look at us. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your holidays. But think about others during this time of Thanksgiving and during this time of the next Christmas, of the Christmas coming up. You know what I'm saying? It's super important. Try to have them this mentality outside this time, which I haven't had all the time, but I'm just challenging you as I'm challenging myself. You know what I'm saying? Share this video. Share this video. If you have a neighbor, let me know. And I'm calling you close in the surrounding Western New York area. You know what I'm saying? Let me know, man. All right? So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy your time with your family. Love, peace, happiness. God is the reason for every season. And don't ever forget that. In Jesus' name, amen.